Happening right now, Miami Art Week is in full swing, and that means additional traffic here in South Florida. Take a look at Chopper 4 flying from Miami Beach just about an hour ago. Wow. That is brutal. Wow. Just <laughs> brutal. I'm glad we're not in that. And that's just not today. The traffic has been an issue all week as people come from really all over the world for their dose of our culture. CBS 4's Trish Christakis, not one to miss a party, is live in Wynwood. <laughs> and how are you getting around? How are people getting around? Any tips, Trish? Well, you know, a lot of people are doing ride share apps, of course, and earlier today around five o'clock when we had that live shot, it was a little bit slower, but now like we were talking about, now is that peak time, right? We're having more people on the road. There's a lot of foot traffic. Take a look to my left. It smells amazing. Everyone's coming in line to get their food now. They have all the little trucks that are out here in Art Walk in Wynwood. Now, back to these ride shares. I spoke to a lot of people today who say the traffic has been worse than usual, and the ride share prices have absolutely surged. So if you plan to make your way here this weekend you might want to be a little patient and save some money for those prices take a look to go from south beach we're at 89th street it takes us at least an hour and a half and it's only six miles Christina Schneider says mid-evening is the worst time for her to use rideshare apps like Lyft and Uber around Miami and the beach even artists here this weekend are struggling to make their way around to shows but they say that's just Miami. Pretty much just used to it. We come every year, so we know it's a big surprise. Yeah, we know the deal. It's just Miami. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a small leave, price to pay. Leave for... early, get yourself extra time. Yeah, yeah. Ball harder so you can afford the Uber. Ride sharing services like Uber and Lyft have gotten expensive, and some people say the surge prices have been so high they chose to rent places close to the exhibits they want to see so they can walk. Ubering is tough. So we stayed by the convention center last night, and that's where we went last night. And uh, so we walked. Christina Schneider is in town visiting from Chicago and says prices of ride shares here are doubled what she's used to in Chicago. Anywhere from $30 to $100. And that's not going very far. This took us 25 minutes to go, probably a drive that's normally 10 minutes. If you're planning on heading to the beach, there's a couple options Miami Beach officials say that you can use besides rideshare. They are encouraging everyone to take their free citywide Miami Beach trolley. And if you plan on driving into the beach, you can head to their website and our website for options on where to park in those garages there. If you plan on parking and not doing a ride share. Now, of course, this is the peak time. It's probably going to take me about an hour to drive 15 minutes home from where I'm at right now. So I am feeling that pain with the viewers today. So let's just uh, push through a little bit longer. We're live here in Winwood. I'm Trisha Kosekis, CBS 4 News. Back to you guys. All right.